Today, we are discussing about the PCL5 molecule is more reactive than the PCL3 molecule. What is the reason behind this? That is the PCL5, the phosphorus pentachloride molecule is more reactive when compared with the phosphorus trichloride molecule. We know that the phosphorus is among the 15th group elements. That is the 15th group elements. 15th group elements is the nitrogen, phosphorus, arsenic and antimony and bismuth molecules. Bismuth atom. So, in the 15th group elements, so that is the that is the 15th group. In the, in the phosphorus pentachloride is the phosphorus is plus 5 oxidation state and the phosphorus trichloride is plus 3 oxidation states. So we know that the phosphorus pentachloride molecule, that is a phosphorus pentachloride molecules. Phosphorus pentachloride molecule is TBP in shape, that is the trigonal bipyramidal in shape, trigonal bipyramidal in shape, and sp3 dehybridization, sp3 dehybridizations. And also this molecule, the point group of this molecule is D3H point group. D3H point group. The phosphorus pentachloride is trigonal bipyramidal in geometry. That is sp3 dehybridization and D3H point group. The structure of phosphorus pentachloride, structure of phosphorus pentachloride, that is a central atom is a phosphorus and uh, this is the equatorial, this is the equatorial bond. And these two are this is the axial bond. And in the case of the this is the bond angle of 90 degree, and the equatorial bond angle is this is between the equatorial, this is 120 degree, and the bond equatorial uh, bond distance, this is 202 picometers, and the axial 214 picometers. This is the basic aspects in the case of the phosphorus pentachloride molecules. And in the case of phosphorus trichloride, in the case of the phosphorus trichloride molecule, that is a phosphorus trichloride molecule, which is, this is a phosphorus trichloride molecules, this is the one lone pair of electrons, one the phosphorus trichloride molecule, this is a three bond pair of electrons and one lone pair of electrons. So this group is tetrahedral in geometry, tetrahedral in geometry and sp3 dehybridization this molecule is phosphorus trichloride is sp3 dehybridize sp3 sp3 hybridization sorry sp3 sp3 hybridization and tetrahedral geometry and which is among the c3v point group the phosphorus trichloride is uh, c3v point group and the case of the when compared with the phosphorus uh, pentachloride and phosphorus trichloride the phosphorus pentachloride molecule is more reactive when compared with the phosphorus trichloride molecules what is the reason behind this in the case of the phosphorus pentachloride the, there is a two axial bond is present so uh, when in the case of phosphorus trichloride there is a no axial bond so that the phosphorus pentachloride molecule is more reactive than when compared with the phosphorus trichloride molecule we know that the, there is a relationship there is a relationship between the bond length and the bond strength if a, if a bond length is increases then the bond strength is reduces so that we know that the phosphorus uh, pentachloride we have already drawn the structure of phosphorus uh, pentachloride molecules so the the, as, uh, the conclusions of these questions so the the phosphorus trichloride molecule is less reactive than compared with the phosphorus pentachloride molecules and that is a reason behind this the in the phosphorus pentachloride molecule there is an axial bond the two axial bond is present and in the case of the phosphorus trichloride molecule there is an absence of there is a no axial bond so the phosphorus pentachloride molecule is more reactive when compared with the phosphorus trichloride molecule thank you